Hello friends, this is Aditya and you're watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, welcome to EV News. Now let's discuss some of the important and latest updates from our EV industry. First news is from MG. Recently, MG has launched MG Comet EV electric car in our Indian market. I have done a dedicated walk around review, test rate review, and a comparison video between MG Comet EV and Tata Tiago EV. The links are in the description. If you haven't watched these videos, please go and watch. Now, the update is recently MG has announced three new variants in this MG Comet EV. This has blown the minds of the customers and mine. The car which I have reviewed earlier is the top end variant but I thought that's the low end variant and the low end variant cost starts from 7.98 lakh rupees but actually the car which I have reviewed is of top end model and the cost of the top end model is 10 lakh rupees if we get into the details there are totally three variants in this MG Comet EV the first variant is called Pace you will get black interiors in this base model and you won't get any connectivity features the showroom cost of of this pace model is 7.98 lakh rupees and the next model is play you will get gray interiors and leather steering wheel in this play model along with some of the other extra features you, you can watch all the difference between these three variants on the screen and the showroom cost of this play variant is 9.28 lakh rupees and the top end variant is plush and the car which i have reviewed on the day is this plush model you will get all the features in this top end model and the cost of this top end model is 9.98 lakh rupees that means close to 10 lakh rupees so this is the ex showroom cost itself you will get the on-road cost close to 10.5 to 10.7 lakh rupees so please let us know your thoughts on this mg comet ev top end model is it worth more than 10 lakh rupees please let us know in the comments friends next news is from tata as you all know, Tata offers an affordable electric car, Tata Tiago EV. So they have launched this Tata Tiago EV on September 28, 2022 and they had commenced their deliveries from past 4 months. So Tata has achieved a milestone here. Tata has completed close to 10,000 deliveries within 4 months of a time period. So this is the first time an electric car has to be delivered 10,000 units within 4 months. So Tata has stated that their customer Customers have saved close to 1.6 million grams of CO2 emissions and they have saved 10 crore rupees on petrol within these four months. So this is a huge success for Tata and I had done a dedicated review video and a test ride video along with customer review of this Tata Tiago EV. The links are in the description. If you missed that video, please go and watch. Friends, next news is from Hyundai. Currently, Hyundai offers Hyundai Kona EV and Hyundai Ionic 5 in the electric car segment. And soon, Hyundai is going to launch one more electric car. Recently, Hyundai Creta Electric has been spotted testing near a charging station. So through this peak, we can expect a compact SUV from Hyundai soon. Friends, next news is from Vida. As you all know, recently some of the electric scooters prices has been came down. This is because government has announced that the ex showroom cost should include the charger cost also. So the major companies like Ola, TVS, Hero Motocop and Aether had cut down their prices of their electric scooters and included the charger cost in their ex showroom cost itself. So previously, Vida V1 Pro, the top end model used to get at an ex showroom cost of 1.6 lakh rupees. So now that price has came down to 1.4 lakh rupees. And the low end variant Vida V1 Plus has to offer at 1.45 lakh rupees. Now it had come down to 1.2 lakh rupees. There it makes sense. Now the Vida electric scooters has become value for money. Friends, next news is from Simple Energy. Recently, Simple Energy has rolled out their first production unit of their Simple One electric scooter. The CEO and co-founder of the Simple Energy, Mr. Suhas Rajkumar, has shared this news through his Twitter account. The main event is going to be on May 23rd at 2.30 pm. So on May 23rd, we can expect all the other details related to this Simple Energy's electric scooter. So please let us know your thoughts on this Simple One electric scooter. 
Friends, next news is from Aether. Currently, Aether offers two variants, Aether 450X base model and a Aether 450X Pro Pack variant. So recently, both these scooters prices has came down, but they are still expensive when compared to other electric scooters in the market. So Aether has planning to launch a new electric scooter within one lakh budget. So the name of this new variant is going to be Aether 450S and Aether is going to remove some of the features and it's going Going to offer less range in this 450s variant so we can expect this aether 450s variant within three to four months and the price is going to be around one lakh rupees Friends, next news is from Amar Raja Batteries. Amar Raja Batteries has set up their battery cell manufacturing unit in Mehboob Nagar, Telangana. Amar Raja Batteries previously announced that they are going to invest 9,500 crore rupees in next 10 years on this manufacturing plant. In this manufacturing plant, they are going to manufacture lithium-ion batteries along with their cooling systems and chargers. So by setting up this manufacturing plant, Amar Raja Batteries has offered 4,500 jobs to the people who are living in Telangana. So friends, these are the latest updates from our EV news. Please let us know your thoughts on this video in the comment section. And if you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.